In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at solving differential equations using a method called the separating the variables method. So a differential equation is an equation that involves a dy by dx or any other letter used, df by dt, dr by ds, whatever the letters used, it's an equation that involves a differential. So in this differential equation here, dy by dx equals xy, when we're asked to solve it, it means eliminate the dy by dx, make sure there's no dy's and dx's in the end. The equation is solved, the differential equation is said to be solved when there's no dy by dx. So in the past, and I'm going to write this in red here, this is wrong what I'm about right, but you might be tempted to just say, well, integrate both sides with respect to x, we get y equals the integral of xy dx. However, we're not actually allowed to integrate y's with respect to x, unfortunately. So that integration there, this integration here, isn't doable because there's a y there with respect to x. So that's not going to work, so I'm going to get rid of that. So what we need to do, it's called the separating the variables method. So step one of this is to separate the dy and the dx by multiplying by dx. So separate the dy by dx by multiplying by dx. Now, dy by dx isn't a fraction. We're treating it as one for the purposes of this, and it works. There's a more mathematically rigorous way of doing this. However, this is a perfectly acceptable method and far easier. So we pretend the dy by dx is a fraction for now. That'll work. So that gives us that dy equals xy dx. So that's your step one. Step two is to get the y's on the same side as the dy and the x's on the same side as the dx. So get y's on the same side as dy and x's on the same side as dx. Okay, so we're going to do that simply by dividing by y. So we get 1 over y dy equals x dx. Now there might be a temptation to write dy over y like that, which is perfectly mathematically acceptable, but I think it's confusing. dy's should always come at the end of a mathematical sentence, and it just presents the work more nicely. So I would say avoid writing dy over y or dy over anything, or dx over anything for that matter. Always make sure that the dx is bolted on at the end. And the reason we've done this now is because we've got y expressions next to dy and the x expression next to dx. That allows us now to integrate both sides. So we're going to integrate both sides. And the PDF of this is going to be available on our website. There's a link uh, at the bottom of this video. So you can download this PDF if you want. So it's a standalone tutorial on paper as well. So the integral, 1 over y dy equals the integral of x dx. That means that log of the modulus of y equals x squared over 2 plus c. Now, strictly speaking, there should have been a plus a constant on the left-hand side as well. However, it's dead easy to take that constant from the left-hand side over to the right-hand side and just gather them up in one place. Therefore, it's acceptable to write plus c just on the right hand side and not on the left. And that's it done. We've eliminated the differential. We've eliminated the dy and the dx now. So the differential equation has been solved. So there's no need to rearrange this in any other form for it to say y equals or anything like that unless specifically asked. But what we're going to do, just for the sake of it, in green, uh, I'm going to do an extra bit as to how you would, if asked, solve this equation to make it say y equals. So write in the form y equals f of x. So now we're e both sides, e to the log of the modulus of y equals 
x squared over 2. Apologies. E to the x squared over 2 plus c. Now it's important that that plus c is in the power where we're finding the exponential of both sides. So that reduces to y equals e to the x squared over 2 plus c. However, we can see that there's an addition in the power there. That's the equivalent of writing e to the x squared over 2 times e to the power of c. So we times two things together with the same base. We add their powers. Equals e to the x squared over 2. However, e to the c itself is just a number. So we can just write that as a constant at the start, and typically they use the letter capital A. So that means that the final answer, if we were asked to write in the form y equals f of x, will be y equals a e to the x squared over 2. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.